Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this another Atlantic hurricane season countdown video. And so we are 59 days away from the official start of the hurricane season. So time is really winding down. I mean, it feels like I am doing these videos uh, less than a week apart because the time is just going by so quickly. I don't know if anyone else is uh, having that feeling, but that's how things feel for me. Things are just going by so very quickly. And so of course, in this video we're going to be taking a look at what's currently taking place what is expected to take place and some minor updates regarding really last hurricane season so we're going to talk about that first and so before i go into details All right, and so let us kickstart things with, as I said, something relating to last hurricane season. And so uh, it is confirmed that the 44th session of the RAI, the hurricane uh, committee, their meeting, their annual meeting is going to be uh, from the 25th of April to the 28th. And that's when we're really going to hear what names, if there are any, retired from last hurricane season and what the replacement is or are. So uh, we'll just have to wait for that. That's not the only thing that's going to be discussed, but basically things that are learned from last hurricane season and just a review of what took place. And so it is almost 100% certain that the name Ida will be retired from the list. And so what names do you what name do you think it'll be replaced with? So uh here I have a list. So these are all the retired I names. So these retired names will never be used again for a North uh, Atlantic hurricane or for the Atlantic hurricane season. I mean they may they might be used in other sides of the world but not in the Atlantic region. It would just be unfit if a destructive storm uh made landfall somewhere and then that same name is staying on the list it's going to be uh very reminiscent for a lot of persons in a negative way if they were affected by it and so it just wouldn't be suitable and so that is why we have these retired names that will never be used again in the region but the names the i names that are currently on the rotating list so every six years a list is reused uh, unless a name was retired and replaced with another one for example for 2022 this is the same list from 2016 with the exception of the names Matthew and Otto since they were replaced with Martin and Owen. So that's what it is like. So the current I names on the rotating lists are Ian, Idalia, Isaac, Imelda, and Isaias. And then for the auxiliary list, it is Isla. So let's think about a potential replacement for Ida. And so you can share thoughts with me or your names with me in the comments. What names do you think Ida will be replaced with? Know that it has to be a female name, of course, and it can't be any uh, that I previously stated. So comment down below what you think that I replacement name could be for Ida. And then when the session is held, we'll see what's going to be happening at that point. But now let's actually go on to the Atlantic Basin and see what is going on right now. And so we are taking a look at infrared satellites of the North Atlantic region. And we do see that we have this frontal system that is offshore of the US. Uh, this was really in the vicinity of the Northeastern Gulf and Florida. And uh, it was seemingly bringing a lot of stormy weather there. I mean, there were some areas of very deep convection and that's when you have uh, the most severe, most intense storm uh, activity in terms of that rainfall, uh, thunderstorms, and also the gusty winds. But aside from that, things are quiet for the most part across the region. Nothing major right now. And taking a closer look at the Caribbean region, we really don't have much going on. We do have some clusters of clouds that are moving by, uh, but those are being carried by the trades and they might bring along with them a shower or two, but nothing very major right now. However, we are in the month of April and next month is rainy season for Jamaica. So for my fellow Jamaicans, uh, we can expect that we can see an increase in rainfall activity. If you're really looking forward to that, uh, I certainly am because I cannot stand the heat. I just love when it rains a lot. So uh, that is a little bit of good news on the horizon if you are a fan of rainfall and cool weather. But for the most part right now, things are going to be pretty normal, pretty sunny uh, throughout most of the days with the possibility of some showers from those clouds. 
that are entering the vicinity of the Caribbean from the east. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at the total precipitation that is expected between now and next Sunday on the 10th of April. And so this is uh, from the GFS model. Again, we have the different colors here that indicate different totals in inches. So we have the greens and the very dark blue that indicate, of course, an inch or under, an inch of rainfall. And between that blue going to that uh, lilac shade, that is where we have one to two inches. And then the higher up we go, the darker the color gets going to that very uh, that purple shade, going to that burgundy shade. That is when we have a lot of rainfall up to about six, seven inches of rainfall. But we're not really seeing much of that right now. We're mainly seeing these greens and these blues, which indicate that for most areas, uh, it is not expected that we will have have any uh, a whole lot of rainfall but again that is going to be changing as we progress closer and closer to the summer months and to more of an extent the rainy season uh, for the island of Jamaica but we do see that in sections of the South Caribbean I'm talking about Panama Costa Rica and sections of northern South America quite a bit of rainfall is expected in those regions uh, between now and next Sunday up to probably about five six inches of rainfall in total and so as we go ahead and take a look at the CMC model it is showing something a little bit similar uh, showing quite a bit of rainfall in the same region of being in the South Caribbean and portions of northern South America and also in sections of Mexico as well. So we really have to wait and see what the eventuality is going to be. But for most of the Caribbean islands, things are not expected to get pretty crazy in terms of the expected rainfall. And we have various factors contributing to that. And so one of them is the dry air. And so as I speak, let's go ahead and take a look at that dry air map. All right, so we have the different colors that indicate how abundant the dry air is. And so we have the light yellow that indicates uh, things are not so intense. It's a lot less dry air. However, as we head to the dark orange, to that red and that slight pink shade, that is when we have quite an abundance of dry air being present. And so that is really what we have rainfall convection all of that to be inhibited uh, because of course they that requires warmth and moisture so that moisture part of it will not really be there and without moisture we don't generally see a lot of uh, rainfall occurring and so we see that across the Caribbean we don't have a whole lot moving across the region and we can see the influence of this because in sections of South America we see that uh, we have some clouds we have some convection down there but in portions where we see that dry air being present we're seeing all these different colors we don't see a lot so this is depicting the effect it really has so again once there is a lot of dry air present we can expect a limitation in all of the rainfall that is expected however if it is not really abundant then we can see more uh, rainfall in such regions and so that is really what is on the horizon between now and as we're going to be heading uh, throughout this week guys so again nothing major is expected and again the hurricane season is 59 days away and even though june 1st is 59 days away i wouldn't be surprised if we see development either later this month or next month so we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening but as of right now i don't really see a tropical cyclone potentially developing within the next week or two but we'll see what's going to be happening and so guys that is really it for this update video and so if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as since I can. And of course, remember to always be otherwise and join me next Sunday for another hurricane season countdown video.